Hey, what's up everybody out there in Tech of Tomorrow land? It's me, Elric Ferris, here back in the Tech of Tomorrow YouTube channel, bringing you guys an unboxing. Sorry I've been a little bit lagging doing the videos over here. We kind of like juggle like who's doing what around here. So like we get the things last. But today we've got a cool unboxing. I had lately had bought a 60 inch TV. You guys saw when we did the videos with the iPhone and everything, playing games and everything. Well, I kind of thought that my sound was lagging for like the last 15 years I've had the same receiver and it only has basic features. Plus it only worked with an optical cable. I didn't really have any great options. So that said, I wanted to go out and get something that I could hook up through my HDMI cable and get all of the great features that are offered with that. Now today I'll be doing the RX V671. This is an 875 watt AV receiver from the folks over at Yamaha. Nope, they're not my friends. I actually went out to Best Buy, spent 500 bucks and bought this thing because I really wanted to have something really good. But it's got a lot of features in it, has a lot of HDMI connections. And one thing that's most importantly for me anyways, was having a pass-through ability, which means that if the unit was turned off, even if you still wanted to use your DVD player or your Blu-ray player with your TV, you could still do it and not use this unit. I went out and bought a Pioneer unit yesterday. Not to talk shit, but that thing fucking blue. I would never buy another Pioneer product after seeing that. I mean, worst thing, three hours of connections, turned it on, popped. That said, let's go back to the unboxing. Which again, Yamaha RX V6751, 875 watt AV receiver. Has lots of great connections. You can even like hook up this thing and use it as like a receiver in your house for using like serious radio. You can hook up your iPod to it, your iPhone, any type of that stuff like that. So you guys all know when you get a box, it comes all well packed. I'm just gonna go ahead and just turn this thing slightly to the side. In fact, you know what? I'm just gonna start pulling the stuff out slowly. So right off the bat, we get the remote control. I'm gonna pull it out and just put it over here so you guys can get a good look at this real first. It's gonna be a trippy kind of unboxing here. We're kind of experimenting with some new ideas, but here's the remote control. I'm just gonna go ahead and set this off because you guys know what remote control is. This thing right here though, I wanna talk about this. This is really cool. This is a microphone that you actually plug in to your system and then you set your system up and it'll totally set your entire room for perfect sound. You don't even have to do anything at all. You just plug this in and you go on with it. Maybe I'll even make a video of that. It's really cool. I like that. Then we've got the instruction guides, all that stuff. And we've even got a cable if you guys still want to use like, you know, AM, FM radio. Let me just tear this open. You guys still want to use AM, FM radio? Whoa, all right. I think this is actually the stand that goes to this, the other thing rather. Here's the, the antenna, pretty cool stuff. Here are the batteries actually for the remote. They were somewhere else and they're buried. I'm throwing those across the room. I'm crazy today, woohoo! And I'm trying to pull this off without breaking it or anything. But yeah, like I was saying, if you were in the living room with this, with this amp, you would be able to play all your videos and stuff in the living room. And I'm trying not to hit the microphone. All right, I did it, success. Crazy, it's like holding my baby. Hello, love All right, let me get that box out of there. Get this thing and set it back out of here. Aren't these nice, lovely? Ow, ooh, just banged my knee. That's sucking hurt, man. Ow, all right. I'm gonna pull this thing out of this nifty little container here. Here we take a look at the back of the V671. As you can see over here, we've got lots of connections for everything. All of your old school connections. If you wanna do it old school analog, you have all those here. You have your RJ45, so in case you wanna to connect to your internet like we talked about before. Lots of connections here. All of your HDMI connects here, so your Blu-ray, your DVD, any of that, they'll all be connected through these devices here, and then this will go out to your TV. For your speakers and everything, you can see all kinds of different connections here for surround sound, 7.1, center speakers, and everything else. This thing's fully fleshed out to do anything that you need. I really like this, has lots of stuff we can use. I'll actually have the specs if I can, just stuck up in the video so you guys can see all the natural specs, but Basically, this thing is gonna be a really cool unit. It comes with everything out of the box except for your HDMI connection cable. So basically, you just plug it in, hook all the stuff up into it, and then I'll see how it sounds. And then I'll give you guys another update video. But today, I'm just doing the unboxing. I mean, this RX V671 is looking to be a really good unit. At $500, it's not priced to be like a super high end. It's actually considered mid end. But a lot of the features that are on this thing are supposed to be geared for like the way higher end. Online, if you look at Amazon, you look at Best Buy, you look at any place that are selling online, this is actually the highest rated one. When I went into the store, the guy tried to sell me some other one that's, that was a lot more money, 
But when it came down to it, all around, just more things said, good stuff about this amp. This is the unboxing. Thanks for watching Tech in the Bar, and I'll see you guys later as I give you guys a review about this amp and how it works in my surround sound.